Mm -hmm. uh, the law on elections and referendums in the municipalities obliges the city council to put the uh, pro mayor into office until such time as the council is convened to note that there's a vacancy for mayor and then elect among its members by secret ballot within 30 days maximum a person who will occupy that post for the rest of the mandate. The uh, law is pretty clear about what the parameters are. It's not up to the council or any of the parties to make the rules. The city clerk is mandated by the law to come up with a procedure, and he will. And he is uh, apparently going to be convening the council to tell the council formally, although we all know that there's a vacancy, and then he will be determining a date by which a secret ballot vote will be taken to um, elect a mayor. It might be Jane, it might be somebody else. I'm not going to make any presumptions at this point. We are talking to the opposition parties. Uh, our message is this. The city is functioning normally. The commissions of council are functioning. The council will continue to meet. The, com the borough council, some of them met last night, some of them meet tonight. It's business as normal. Um, and we've reached out across the aisle to the opposition to say, look, we have differences of opinion, but the main message we have to tell Montrealers, we're going to give you the services for which you paid for, and we're going to continue to do that. Despite our differences of opinion, we will put a new mayor into place, and the council will proceed. Mr. Roger, and you speak of the spirit, the need for a spirit of cooperation. In that spirit, Mr. Dajar proposes a coalition executive committee. Well, I, I, I don't necessarily say yes or no. Uh, at this point, I think what is important is the first priority is to put a new mayor into, into office. The mayor has certain responsibilities and powers, and that person will have to look at what the options are. I don't want to tie the hands of a person who's going to be mayor even before they're elected. I think that's not particularly democratic. Uh, I do appreciate that Mr. Bergeron's party has pledged to work with us in collegiality, that they won't try to disrupt the budget. They haven't walked out like the other opposition party. Um, and their leader told me there's no way that they're going to promote disorder. I appreciate that. Having said that, there are still differences between the parties. We're going to concentrate on making this council less like the National Assembly and more like a municipal council. I'm already proud that there is far less heckling here than there is in Quebec City, and people actually listen respectfully now, where they didn't used to years ago. But still, we have to find a way that we advance the agenda of Montrealers.